Hey kids, welcome to unit two, lesson seven, accessor methods, exercise number two. Kids, this lesson deals a lot with the get method, which I'm gonna explain as we go along here, but I really encourage you to watch the code.org video. I'll link it in the description below. It really sets up this lesson very well, and I really encourage you to watch it first. Let's take care of number one, that's easy. Let's go to our backpack, click on dessert, import it, take a look. That looks like ours. Let's write our end of class, because I just like to do that. Now we're going to write an accessor method to return the value stored in the flavor instance variable. You remember these private instance variables. These don't have any access outside the class, and we have to give it access outside that class, and that's called an accessor method. And that's used to set the visibility of the class variables, constructors, and methods. What does this accessor method look like? Well, it looks a lot like what we've been writing. We're gonna write public, and then whatever our return type is gonna be. If it's going to be a word, we'll put string. If it's an integer, we'll put int. If it's a double, double. After that, whatever we're going to name our method. Inside our curly cues, we're going to use the keyword return. And return just means exit out of whatever we're doing. And what are we doing? Well, we are getting whatever that value of that instance variable is. In this case, on the graphic you see on the screen, we're getting an instant variable color, and that is a string. And what does this all do again? It's just giving access to these variables outside the class. Let's go ahead and write them. I'm gonna come down here. Let's give ourselves a bunch of returns so we can work here a little in the middle. I'm going to tab over and again, back to the anatomy. What do we do? We use a public. Then whatever data type we're going to do. The first one is going to be flavor. Flavor is a word. So we're going to use string. String is going to be uppercase. And then we're going to make up a new method name. In accessor methods, we typically use the word get before whatever variable we're trying to get. Makes it easy to remember. We're trying to get flavor, so our variable name will be get flavor. We'll put some curly cues, and all we really want is the flavor variable. And we can just simply do return, because we just want to exit out, and do flavor. That's it. That's one, we have to do one more for price. We're going to do public. Price, probably going to have some change with it, so we should use double. And we are going to get price, so we're gonna go get price. Parentheses, don't forget your curly cues. And then all we wanna do is just return whatever that variable is. So we're gonna use the keyword return, and then price variable. Don't forget your semicolon. That is it. That's how we write an accessor method. Let's hit run just to make sure there's no spelling errors. And it doesn't look like we have any spelling errors. Key takeaways from this lesson, kids, are what accessor methods are. And those are methods to grant access to different variables outside the class. The second is the anatomy of this accessor method. We give public access, our return type, whether it's string, boolean, int, or double, our method name, get in the habit of using git before whatever we're trying to access. We're gonna use the return keyword which exits us out of a method. Remember, it either is void or return type. And then we're calling 
whatever variable we're trying to access, an accessor method. In the next lesson, we're gonna learn how to call the method we just wrote. Hopefully kids, this video helped you understand what an accessor method is and how to write one. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next lesson. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.